What's going on guys, it's your boy Juice and I'm here with another dope tutorial for Logic and today we're going to be breaking down 15 different uh, keyboard shortcuts that you can use uh, when you're making beats or recording in Logic. So um, if you find this video helpful, please drop a like and uh, leave a comment if you know any other dope shortcuts. So let's get right into it man. Uh, the first shortcut is Command and B. And um, for those that don't know, Command and B brings up the bounce window. So it'd be the same as you go into File, Bounce, and then Project or Section. So if you if you're somebody who uh, has to bounce stuff a lot, or you just want a quick way to do it, Command plus B is how you get that done. Uh, the second one is Command and T. And that um, can be used to just separate a, a segment of audio just like that. Command T. And quick shout out to my boy Riggs. Uh, this is our new track, Corona. I'm going to leave a link in the uh, description below so you guys can check out. We made a really dope music video to that. So shout out my boy Riggs. The third shortcut that I want to show you guys is going to be... Um, a quick way to duplicate a segment of audio. So let's say we wanted to copy this. You can use option and then click and drag on the region and it'll automatically copy whatever it is. This fourth keyboard shortcut is gonna be something that's useful if you're needing to get your audio file to line up to the very beginning of whatever session you're working with. And so you're gonna click on the um, whatever audio file and then you're gonna hit enter and the semicolon. And that'll take it uh, and line it up to the very first beat of the session. The fifth shortcut I wanna show you guys is Command X. And that's uh, a shortcut that's you also used on the Mac uh, in general, but Command X just cuts anything um, so it's useful for cutting out notes. You can be working with MIDI and you can cut out notes that way, or you can be cutting out um, audio files. The sixth shortcut I wanna show you guys is um, how to use these cursor options over here um, on your keyboard. Um, so I like to use the mute tool um, as my second cursor option, cause it's really nice to be able to just mute segments like that. But to activate your um, second cursor option, you hold command on the keyboard and then you can just click and whatever you have as your second cursor option, um, that's what will happen when you command uh, and click at the same time. One of my favorite shortcuts to use in uh, Logic is command and the period. And um, for those who don't know, the command plus period it doesn't matter where you line the playhead up at. Um, command plus period will take you right back to wherever you had it. So if I'm playing some of the songs. When I'm walking in, I can't get no welcome. Hello. They just want me blending in. Boy, I'm going to stand out. They just and I wanted to return to that same spot again. Command plus period will take me to exactly where I started it from last time. When I'm walking in, I can't get no wealth. When I'm walking in, when I'm walking, when I'm walking, when I'm walking in. I so it's like there's a bunch of different ways you can use that that'll save you some time, especially when you're recording. Number eight on our shortcut list is going to be Option, Shift, and the mouse wheel. And you need a, a mouse wheel to do this one. I don't think you can do it with the uh, trackpad if you're on a laptop. But, um, for those who have a mouse wheel, option, shift, and then scroll up or down, and you can zoom in and out on your whole session and get in detail or see the whole thing. Number nine on our list is gonna be a quick way to get the musical keyboard to come up. So let's create um, a new software instrument track. And let's load. And um, if we want our keyboard to come up so we can type using our um, QWERTY keyboard, not like a MIDI keyboard, you hit Command and K and you'll be able to start 
typing um, the notes that you want to play. That's Command K. Number 10 on our list is going to be um, just R, and that's going to be a shortcut to record. As you can see, the um, recording came up. I wasn't t I wasn't playing anything, but you get the idea. It's a shortcut to record. It works for audio and MIDI. Number 11 on our list is going to be Command Z, and this is another um, shortcut that's used on Macs uh, in general. But um, Command Z is undo, and that is one of the most critical. Um, shortcuts that you can use when working on music period because we all make mistakes and do stuff that we don't want to do but a quick command z will make whatever ha just happened uh undo so if i didn't mean to delete that command z it brings it back and that goes straight into our next uh shortcut which is command shift z and that is um the redo function so that's the opposite of undo if you um Un undid something too many steps back or you just decided you wanted to flip it back to how it was command shift Z will flip it back and um, it's a nice option to pair with the undo and work really fast without your hands leaving the keyboard number 13 on our list is gonna be a shortcut on how to nudge so let me zoom in so you guys can, can see exactly so if I highlight this region right here and I hold option and use the right arrow I can move it to the right slightly and if I use the left arrow holding option I can move it to the left so option plus the arrow keys uh, will nudge the region whatever um, value you have it assigned number 14 on our list is going to be option command a and that is a shortcut to create uh, a new audio track option command a and number 15 the final shortcut on our list is probably the most important shortcut that anybody could ever use in any musical program ever and uh, you, you're gonna think I'm trolling for putting it last but it's really the most important and that is command s that is your shortcut to save whatever you're working on save 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 and you will be good when working on anything so I hope this was helpful um, if you guys thought it was helpful, please share it with a friend you know who makes music and uh, drop a like for me and subscribe to the channel. I got a bunch more videos coming, so let me know what you guys want to see next and if we should do a part two to this. Peace.